What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vlog style video. Um, I'm going to a couple of thrift stores, um, this new bookshop I want to try out and I wanted to bring you guys along and if I get anything, uh, show you guys like a haul, just give you a couple life updates maybe. Um, I'm actually on my way right now to meet my parents for lunch. Um, don't worry, I have my mask. <laughs> This is my new uh, Disney mask, which I'm obsessed with. It's a Christmas Disney mask because we recently went. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on today. Um, it's a rainy, kind of dreary day. It's still pretty, though. Um, so, yeah, that's just going to take you along with me on my way. Right now, I'm listening to the audiobook, uh, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I actually just finished... Oh, God. I actually just finished uh, Mallory, which is the sequel to Bird Box. I don't remember the author's name, but that was really good. Um, I think I give it a four out of five, um, just because it wasn't like one of my favorites, but it also was really good. So that's what kind of the four falls into, I guess, because three is probably like average. Four is like, you know, above average, would recommend, like really good, but not my favorite. And five is like top tier. Um, and then two and one are like, bad <laughs> so that's kind of where that falls for me did kind of a simple eye look today but i really do like it just some purple and gold um i used the naked uh three palette naked three i think no the naked cherry palette and the urban decay born to run palette um i don't know what my hair is doing but it's fine the pink has faded it except for like a little bit right there um i might re-dye it later tonight but i'm not sure we'll let you know though Okay, so I just left this super cute secondhand bookstore um, called The Book Rack. It is in Trustville, Alabama, if you are in the area. It was so nice. Um, I didn't get anything just because I'm trying to be more particular about what books I buy right now. I didn't see anything that I knew for sure that I wanted, but I did really enjoy just looking. Honestly, like one of my favorite parts about bookstores is just like walking around and looking at all the books. And that's part of my favorite part. That's one of my favorite parts, sorry. Um, so I left there, I have a few clips that I'll insert, and now I'm going just to a thrift store in the area, um, and I probably will go to a couple and update you guys on what I get. It's not a day off unless I'm at Target at least once. I wanted to give you guys a quick look at our Christmas decorations. Yeah, our lights are freaking out right there because they're confused, but look how pretty. I mean, to zoom in that far, it's scary. Yeah, Hunter put up all those. He's the best.
I guess this is sort of like a mini house tour as well, but this is our living room. It's a little messy right now, but this is our kitchen. That's Lilo barking outside. I'm obsessed with our tree this year. It's so exciting. This is our first Christmas in a house. That's our stockings and some presents and yeah. Really? Really? Are you good now? Really? <laughs> um, anyways, as I was saying, this is our little bookshelf area upstairs. We have our pop figures up there and this cute sign that my mother-in-law got me and then my Beauty and the Beast uh, snow globe that Hunter got me that I'm obsessed with. These two pop figures. I love Rapunzel and Aang. And then I moved some of my books up here just for honestly purely aesthetic reasons because I think they look good up here. And then some of Hunter's uh, Jim Lee figures. Excuse you. <laughs> uh, and then some more pop figures. You excited for Christmas? Okay, so let's do my thrift store and Target haul. So I showed these two books um, at the thrift store, but I figured I would get a closer look. <laughs> She's sniffing them. <laughs> uh, I figured I would give a closer look. This is uh, Stephen King Goes to the Movies. It seems like this is just a combination of his uh, film adaptation books? Question mark. Um, it has these books in it, and I just love the cover. Um, it's super worn, which I like, but it's not in necessarily bad shape. But I just love secondhand books. Like, they're my, they're my favorite. Um, and I really have started to collect Stephen King books. Uh, these were $1.98 each at the thrift store. So seriously, if you're looking for some great used books, check your local thrift stores. It's better for the environment. And, you know, you're recycling and giving these books another home. So... And again, they're like lightly used. They don't look bad. And they're, again, they're only $1.98, so you're saving money. Um, but this is the stand. And these stickers come off super easily as well. And it's in great condition. It's got some photos. Those are the two books that I picked up. And then at the thrift store, I also got these pair of American Eagle jeans that are literally in perfect condition. Um, and the tag said $5. But, yeah, or $6.98. But I don't know if either the cashier rung them up incorrectly or I got really lucky with a sale, but they were a dollar. So <laughs> that's really good. Um, again, shop at thrift stores, guys. Like you never know what you're gonna find and you can find some lightly used stuff for great price. Um, and then I picked up some stuff at Target. I did some Christmas shopping, which I'm not gonna show here, but I got some cotton rounds. And then I really like this toothpaste. Uh, this is whitening toothpaste by Hello. Um, and it is fluoride free and it is cruelty free as well. Um, so I really enjoy this toothpaste. I have noticed a difference in the way that it whitens. And then I just got some K cups cause we needed some more coffee and I do really like um, this flavor of K cup. Figured while we were videoing, I would go ahead and give you an overview of my bookshelf again. Ever since my last book tour, I have had some stuff change and I wanted to show you these cute lights down here. And there's Lilo. <laughs> and our setup looks different down here now. And I've got my PS5, yay. I'm obsessed with it. Cutie. I've got this cute little metal Christmas tree down here that my mother-in-law got us. And again, these lights are super cute. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some books that I've recently hauled or been gifted. So this book I recently picked up from Second and Charles. It is called The Haunted Bookshop by Christopher Morley. Um, I didn't realize that it's actually an older book. Um, this was only $3, but I don't know much about it besides it's about a bookshop and about ghosts. So both things I'm super intrigued by. <laughs> And 
And then this book was actually really sweetly gifted to me by one of uh, my friends on Bookstagram. Um, this is Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I actually listened to the audiobook of this, and it is one of my favorite reads of 2020. Um, it is about uh, three sisters, and one of them goes missing and pretty much breaks the family apart. And this story is very, very triggering. It has a lot of gruesome, like, body horror um, just look up the trigger warnings before you read this, but it is a really good read. Um, it's a thriller. It's my first of Karen Slaughter's, and I highly recommend it. Next up, this one was also gifted to me kindly. This is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I This is a bookstagram made me want it book for sure. I've seen so many good things about this book. It's fantasy. Um, that's all, really all I know about it is that it's supposed to be very good. Um, this is another one that I recently hauled and it's another fantasy. Um, I've read a few of the Schwab's books, but this is one that I haven't read that I've heard is very good. So I'm wanting to get into that one. And then I finally purchased my first manga. Um, I'm a big fan of Attack on Titan. Season four actually, um, released the first episode last week, I believe, um, so I'm really wanting to read the manga because I really enjoy the show. So that I hauled recently as well. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I put the two books that I showed you guys earlier on my shelf. This is my current Stephen King collection. Um, most of these are, all of these are used except these two. Oh, and Carrie. So these four are used. And then lastly, I picked up this book from Barnes & Noble, uh, Daughters of the Ret Reach. Wretch. This is a historical fiction um, based off of World War II. That is all I know. I've read a couple of pages, but that's really it. Um, I definitely want to get more into historical fiction, so that is why I purchased that. And it, and it sounds really good. Um, I recently finished Big Little Lies by Le Leanne Mor Moriarty. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed Big Little Lies, gave it a 5 out of 5. So I wanted to try um, What Alice Forgot by her and really just read more by her in general. So I picked that up secondhand from Second and Charles. And I believe that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned so for some more fun December videos. I really want to do a wrap up video of all that I've read this year and like my top favorites. Um, so let me know if you'd be interested in that and let me know what your top favorites are this year. I'd love to hear them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.